Hey, Coast Vineyard. If I haven't met you yet, my name's Joshua. Um, Stanley just asked me to share a little bit about what's been going on in the Ripley family over the last couple months. Uh, when lockdown hit, we were about a week away from our baby Charlotte's due date. Um, and it just brought a whole lot of questions around what is supposed to happen here. Like, am I able to be with Jamie through the birth and through the recovery? What does that look like? Um, and it just brought a whole lot of, a whole lot of questions that we weren't planning to ask. Um, and it, none of this was on the birth plan. So it was, uh, it was a bit of a shock to us. Um, but two weeks later we had our baby girl in our arms, um, Charlotte. She was happy and she was healthy. Everything went really well. We felt God's presence in the birthing suite. Um, and through all the different circumstances that happened, we felt God's hand in every decision that was made. Uh, even though it didn't go to plan, we knew that he was with us. Um, and then two weeks later, we got the news that Jamie's dad passed away, um, which was a really tough time because, especially for Jamie, she was going through the throes of having a newborn, cluster feeding and all of that. And now she is dealing with the grief of losing her father. Um, and in a way, having Charlotte brought such a joy to the both of us um, and just being able to hold her um, and having her in, in that season of, of grief, um, being able to have the joy of, of new life um, in, in the loss. Um, two weeks later, uh, after we had heard that news, I got the notice that my job was wrapping up uh, in a couple weeks' time. Um, and one thing that happened that was a big standout was as soon as I got home, I told Jamie the news and neither of us felt like we were um, thrown off or that like anything was going to happen now and we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, we just felt like, okay, so we just trust that God is in this and that he is going to come through for us. Um, and we didn't give in to the fear that would have been so easy to give in to. Um, and then a week after that, uh, we got given notice that we had to move out of our house uh, by December. So everything was coming at us pretty, pretty quick, and we were getting punches left, right, and center. Um, and we just felt like everything was coming at us. Um, but we just had this deep sense that God was going to come through for us because throughout Jamie and I's marriage, God had come through for us in, in so many different ways. And in those situations, our first reaction was, oh no, what's going to happen? Like, we need to figure this out. We need to figure out what's what the next step is and yada, yada, yada. Um, but in this situation with us losing Jamie's dad, with me losing my job and us losing the house, we just had this sense of, okay, this stuff has happened. God's going to take care of us. He always has. So why would he stop now? Um, and it was just amazing to have that in someone and knowing that I could share that with Jamie and that we were in that together. But also it was amazing to go through that and know that God was with us there. And we just felt an incredible sense of peace again um, through this season of losing what felt like everything. Um, and now the testimony of that is because we trusted him. Um, he's, he's come through for us. We have, I have a new job that is as great as my first job was. Uh, I've got this amazing job that has bonuses and all these other things that it's just, I could, it's beyond my wildest dreams. Um, and 
now we just learned today that we have our new house that we can move on to in a couple weeks. So it's just been an incredible journey, ups and downs, um, and up again. <laughs> um, but the main thing that we have felt is God's steadfastness and just the knowledge that he is always going to come through for us. And yeah, that he's, he's always there for us. He's always been provider. Um, and yeah, I just hope that that encourages you. So go well.